chapter on women jazz trumpet players, like I was telling you about earlier. And uh, so this book, um, and, Cl and Clark Terry and Freddie Hubbard wrote the forward for me, and I still think to this day the most important part of that book are the interviews, because you get to hear from the actual pioneers themselves about what they think, how they play, why they play what they play, all this kind of stuff. So it was published in 2005 by Hal Leonard, but at the time, I wasn't done researching it. I was about halfway done. Hal Leonard said, well, let's just put out, you know, put this out, you got some stuff, put it out. So. I said, okay, so we put it out, and instead of using all 21 of the interviews, we only used 15, and uh, Orville Shaw was one of the persons I interviewed. He was Louis Armstrong's bass player, mm -hmm. so I was able to ask him questions about, well, what did Armstrong do when you got when he was warming up? What did he do? All that stuff. I uh, interviewed Bobby Bradford, uh, who was Ornette Coleman's first trumpet player. Wendell Bruni, as you guys might know him. Humphrey Littleton, who was a uh, trumpet player from Britain, who passed away a few years ago. It was Maynard's last interview, Freddie Hubbard Clark, all these people. Cora Bryant, you know, I was telling you about earlier, who's still living, she's 85 or 86. And, uh, but long story short, I knew I needed to finish the rest of the rest of my research and get more people interviewed and write a few more chapters. And that's what I've been doing really, really, really intently for the last year or so. And uh, so what I wanted to do was get that interview number up from 21 to 35. And what I've done, I've done, I've now completed 32 interviews. And the uh, additional interviews are fattest, Arturo, Randy Brecker, Wallace Roney, Nicholas Payton, Great. Charles Tolliver, Joe Wilson, Jack, um, Joe Wilson, Jack Sheldon, wow. Bobby Shu, uh, Stepko Goot. I don't know if you guys heard of him. He's a player in Austria. Stepko Goot, um, and um, and another person I always wanted to get and I always wanted to meet and I never had a chance to was um, uh, the most important player. Not just because he's from Japan, but he's. He is the most important jazz trumpet player from Japan, but he's also one of our players in our lineage, regardless of where he's from. And this gentleman's name is Hiromasu Hino. And he's done over 60 recordings as a leader. His, you know, most of the, uh, the personnel on his, on his recordings are Ron Carter on the bass, Jack DeJanette on drums, Sir Roland Hannon, John Schofield. He is an absolute legend. And so when I got in touch with him through his son, I didn't know he lives two hours from Miami. I thought he was in Tokyo. And he still kind of does it in Tokyo. 
So I told him I was going to be here for this, and when this was over on Friday, I had planned to drive to his house, interview him, and put that interview in the book along with all the others. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm going to drive to you, and we can play on the jam session together. <laughs> so so today, I met for the first time. I did his interview earlier today, and he told me all kinds of incredible stuff. Uh, one foreign story about how he was at Miles' house. Yes, Miles Davis. Miles Davis, and uh, he, had, he had an issue with his lip or something, and Miles grabbed a flashlight and put the flashlight in the little lip. So yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So all that information and some other things will be in the book, but this gentleman drove two hours, checked himself into the hotel on his own dime to come here and to make music, which Wonderful. is what this is about. So please help me welcome Terumasa Hinu. Hello. my badge so nobody, nobody would bother me. So it's two Scotties walking around. So. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work, that'll work. So what we're going to do, what we're going uh, to have some fun like we did last night. I really would like for everybody to play. But first, the first two compositions, I wanted to just feature him and play with him. And we're going to do uh, Caravan, and then we're going to do uh, I've Never Been In Love Before. And then after that, the third two, and I'll figure that out, and we'll have you guys start to come up and play. But don't be shy. We want everybody to play. And they also want to make sure we're, we're respectful and mindful of the rhythm section. We only have one pianist, one bassist, one drummer. And at some point, I can play to relieve you from that. We, we, we have any other pianists or bass players? Drummers, yeah, we players? do. Right here. Okay, cool. All right. So y'all can work that out. How do you want to work too. that out? Great. Okay, cool. And, uh, <laughs> all right. So think of, think of some tunes you might want to play. I'm, I'm always trying to think of tunes, but anybody got something in particular you want to play, we'll get that done. But for now, we'll just go ahead and play Caravan, and um, I've never been on a before. Perfect. Uh, so Caravan.
bravo. Oh shit. Nice, lively kind of how many we got? Who wants to come up? 